Right. Recording in Good morning, everybody. Good morning. All right, so we're today is Daf Kof. Uh, we left off at the bottom of Yud Testament Bays by the two dots. Oh, I'm okay. I got it. So five lines from the bottom on Yud Testament Bays, and away we go. So turn our bottom. Oh, um, well, housekeeping. Um, so I think Sunday, which is for a morning. Um, I think Bez Hashem, I think we should learn uh, an hour before the last minion, which is at 8 30. So 8 30 is a minion here. So we'll learn we'll meet here at 7 30, unless I look at the block and it's extremely short. I have not looked forward yet. But uh so 7 30 Sunday morning, portal morning. Those of you who can make it, great. Uh those of you who cannot I apologize, but to, it's, it's it's always it's always recorded and uh right. It's, 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 all right, fine, all right, fine, very good. So if a receipt was found, right? Now, receipt, let's say a, a man, uh, he has to pay the, the ksuba. So therefore, he is given a receipt that, uh, Mr. Husband, you paid uh, uh, your ex-wife. So when the woman says, yes, I, I was paid indeed. So you ask her the bow, go ahead and give it to the husband. However, however, the woman does not agree. No, 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 I wasn't paid. Maybe it was just written out. Nevertheless, when the, when the wife says, yes, I paid him, so you can go ahead and return it to the husband. So let's say he's going to go ahead and pay her in Nisa, right? But he didn't end up, and they wrote out the receipt, but he did not end up paying her until Tishrei. And she went. And then I said, uh, look, suba, but of us, and I mean, he's not And let's say she sold, right? Why in the world would he get a receipt, a, a predated receipt? Well, a receipt was written, he was going to go ahead and pay it, and for whatever reason, he never paid it, right? They had it all set to go, and I'm going to meet you here, and I'm going to bring the money, but you got the receipt, you got, you got the receipt written, right? Yep, got it. And then all of a sudden he can't make it, the excuses and this and that. And all of a sudden he pushes off seven months until finally uh, uh he you know he 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 pays her, but the receipt paid her earlier. And meanwhile, so she went ahead and she right, say in the summer, she sold the her ksuba. So let's say she has little hope of ever collecting her husband. So she's she's she sells her ksuba. The chances that I get paid my ksuba. I.e., if uh, the husband dies and I get the pay from his estate, or if he divorces me and you get paid, so you can go ahead and you buy the rights to my ksuba. So the, perhaps she went then and sold it, right? And then, so he's going to come along, right, and to the buyers and say, oh, what take the, you know, the, you, know you, you don't have a right to the ksuba because you see, I paid, the, I, I paid her the ksuba before you ever made that transaction in the summer. According to the receipt, I you know I already paid her in uh uh, uh right in, in Nissan, and therefore get off the property. So but the fact we don't say this, must be like that. says So a person who wants to go ahead in theory, so the, the that buyer is never protected. Why? Because if a person. If I have a loan document and it says that the mayor owes me a hundred dollars and I, uh, you know, having a hard time collecting, I said, uh, Eddie, here, just buy this, uh, you know, buy this debt off me and it's for a hundred dollars. I'll sell it to you for 60 bucks. Eddie gives me 60 bucks. Now, Eddie's holding out the document that says mayor owes me a hundred dollars. So, since it says mayor owes you, I can go ahead and be Michael that loan and mayor doesn't have to go ahead and pay. And Eddie is out his 60 dollars. So, therefore, any buyer? I oh, you? Could. I could because the, the, even though I, I sold the rights already, I really have no shaykhs. So, too, the woman in theory can go ahead and cancel her. You know what? I don't need the ksuba because she basically already got paid, and with, it would actually hurt the buyers. So, therefore, there's always a risk to the buyers, and therefore, it must be like shmuel. And so, Amar uh, Abaye, excuse me, Abaye Omar says, "No, I feel the table less than shmuel. Even if it's not like shmuel, that you can't go ahead and be married. She's holding the ksuba." She's she still has the ksuba. She said it was paid. That's fine. We're not. What was the whole concern that she sold it to somebody else, right? That she sold the rights to go out and collect it. She said no. 
it was, it was I was already paid for it, you know. I even though I still had the document, but you know, yeah, the receipt is his, and therefore he, he can go ahead and, re, uh, and receive it. Now, Rav Amar, Rav, why did you not say like a body? So, Rav Amar, first of all, Imishim Stark Suba, Kaishin, Stick Suba. Well, yes, well, what well, well, is so, and Menachanami, she might show you a Suba, but perhaps there were two Subas written, right? There was one original. Maybe she lost it, and another was written. Then she found it. She had two of them, so maybe she has one. And but she sold one already. They were also were going to go ahead and hurt the buyers. The first of all, there's no such chashash for two ksuvas. We see a ksuva that we, we we hold that that is the ksuva that we're dealing with. The other, and furthermore, shaver bezman atarv. Never left. Not, nevertheless, the once a receipt is signed. Right, so that goes by this man. So ena chinami, if if the, she has receipt and you know she wrote up a receipt and then never changed it, right? So therefore the shayv is monetary. And and by the time right, all my eight of chesunu zachin law, right? With the witnesses, they are zochiver. So therefore it goes back to the time, and therefore the receipt um, will go ahead. Will will take effect from uh, uh, from Nissan in this case. Okay. Right, now you mishnah. Uh, Final mishnah. Of the first parak of Amitzia, Matza Iga, if they're fine letters of of, of appraisal, uh, basically uh, stuff that not necessarily the uh, that which gives the power to go ahead and seize, but that uh, that the, the the land was collected right in lieu of a a debt that was not paid, or the uh, the Igaros Muslim, or let's say there was a letter. Uh, confirming that a, uh, a a certain individual is going to go ahead and support uh, his, uh, his his stepdaughter, right? Or stare chalitza or miyun, or you find a document of chalitza, a woman who uh, performed chalitza or miyun, right? Or, or miyun when she gets out of a a, a, a kedushin, which is derabanan, right? She's married off by her her mother or her brothers. The stare beruin or stare beruin, which we'll soon see what that is. Machlek is what that is. The chol ma'isa based. Then if you find any of these cases, she can go ahead and return it, right? These these type of documents, not necessarily loan documents, but documents that are more of proof. And if she finds it, let's say in this certain you know boxes or, or, or bundles or piles of sun seed, or all right, in other words, there's some sort of simon, right? There's some sort of a way to go ahead and identify that says, hey, this was lost. Says, oh, is this there? Yes, I know exactly what it is. It's still good. Or tachish ashtaros, or gudish ashtaros, or let's say a, if it was a, a, a tied up bundle of shtaros or a pile of shtaros, we'll see the differences. Hare ze yachser. Those can be returned, right? Those can be returned based on Siman. They're not considered to be lost. It can be returned, and therefore you can go ahead and return it to the person who says, uh, who identifies it. The kama gudish ashtaros, and how much is a gudish ashtaros? That is shloishak shurim Three that are tied together. If you find, uh, so if you find, let's say there's one lova and there's a bower and he's borrowed from three different people, right? So then there was a return to the lova. In other words, it sounds like now usually the Malva has a document, right? The Malva says the IOU, right? In other words, I don't want to, you know, if I have the only, I borrowed money. From from mayor and I have the only proof for it, right? The, uh, usually mayor has the loan document, right? When I pay mayor back, he gives it to me, right? And I have it. Once the borrower has it, then the lender, you know, can't collect anymore because he doesn't have it, right? So let's say there's a uh, documents found uh, that says I borrow money from mayor. There's another document that says uh, I uh, borrow money from Allen number one, and then there's another document that says I borrowed from Allen number two. Right, so those can be returned to the lova. Why? Mm. Why? Because we assume it came from the same place. I was holding it. It, w- it would be too big of a coincidence if Alan and Alan and Mayor all lost their shtaros in the same place. Mm. So obviously they didn't lose in the same place. I was the one holding the shtaros. Why was I holding the shtaros? It must have been I paid it back. So therefore, you return the lova. And the opposite case, shleisha halavim minachad. Let's let's say three loans. Given out to three different people, I lent money to Eddie, I lent money to Avrami, I lent money to Randy, right? If I let, lent them all money, and then all these documents were found, so, right? and so therefore you return it to the Malva because why right, they were all together. It must be that they were the, 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 the lenders, and therefore return it to the lender. 
So Master Star Bench the Raisa, if one finds a star amongst his other documents, ain't a damn ativo, and he doesn't know the nature of it, whether it was paid or not, he munach at Yavo Elio, it should uh, 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 remain until Elio Navi. And Imi Shima and Sipanas, if there are receipts with them, if there are receipts with them, then we say, Yasim Ashes and Buzz. And do whatever's on the receipts. If the receipts that it was paid, then we'll see that it was paid. Fine. So my shtarib, we said shtarib room should be returned. What is shtarib room? So hacha tegim shtarib tainaisa. By the one, the different people's claims in court. And I was basically it's like a recording of their claims in court and what their tainas were, so they can't change their opinions. That's a shtarib room. You can return that. Rav Yirmi Abar zebra leyechem zebra leyechem. Now it says over there, but when he's based in of three, each one chooses a uh, dayan and then they they mutually agree on one. So therefore, it's the document saying which one they choose. Nevertheless, these are not considered to be collection documents, and therefore they are returned uh, to the, uh, the 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 person uh, who is listed. So I will get We saw this earlier. Wow. So he said there was a gap that was found that the Din Ravuna the basin Ravuna Davik Sibe Bishviri Masa Dal Rochis Nara says. And the location of the get was given in the town of Shriri, which was on the Rochis River at Amaravuna. So they found it. So he says, Can we return it or not? Can the, you know can this guy go ahead and use it? Can we turn it to, to, to the Shaliach, who says he, he dropped it and a couple hours ago? Can we turn it to him? Are we concerned that this is a different get or is this the same get? So Amaravuna, Kaishinon, the state of Shriri. Maybe there's two Shriris. Maybe it's two, uh, 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 Avram, right? Two guys named Avram, uh, uh, divorcing Sarah, both from town of the Shir, but different towns of Shir. On the same river? Uh, uh, on the. They, they yeah, yeah, listen. yeah. Yeah, two Shiris. There's two there along along the river. Possible. The possible. It's Skokie. Obviously, Shir, I do a lot, right? Even though the one town we know doesn't have them, Mary's is not a town. <laughs> So I'm a lay rabbi. The rabbi puka I in the earth. Go ahead and check. Go ahead and check what we should do in this case. The earth in the evening. Both the rabbi will ask. He'll ask for you what should we do with this get. And nothing. He went out. Dog v'ashka. He found the tanan. Mishnah says call ma'is the base. And harizah yavs there. So any ma'is the base, then you should go ahead and return. So this is ma'is the base, and this this was uh, 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 certified that that it was checked out. So therefore, you should go ahead and return it. Similarly, Rav Abba and Rav say, "Hey, he pushed him. I understand. That's talking about the cases uh, over here. We're talking about these servants. The get or not? Similarly, Taida. He's uh, he's uh, let's say, uh, Meshuba, uh, crazy one. He called him crazy. Shtari Chalitza Miyun Tanan. Well, included in I think we all are. Right? <laughs> so he said included in the case of Shtari Chalitza Miyun. Right, and so it was also included in the document. So they, these are documents of Isurim, right? Of, this, uh, of whether a woman has chalitza or not, or miyun or not. That's things of Isurim. So therefore, you can learn get from that, and not necessarily get from a case of a certified loan document. So it's not apples to oranges, apples to apples. Apoka Arz at the Bay Rav, and one of the uh, cedars, uh, the you know, the, the, the broke, you know, of the base mattress, but the roof didn't miraculously did not cave in. It was because of me that you know my honor that it broke that you called me crazy. No, no, no! You were the one who interrupted me and you asked me. Ah, oh, you're learning from Isra Mama and you tried to attack me publicly, and therefore it was in my honor that it broke. Fine. Two dots. Matza bechavisa or bedulus kaman. So my bechavisa. I'm a rebarchana. Uh, Hamas katana. It's like a small little uh, uh pouch, like a hide uh pouch, a little leather pouch. Uh, it was found in there, and if you identify that pouch, you can go ahead and get the document. And my Deluskama was Deluskama Rav Shmuel Tlika de Sabe, right? It's like a, 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 a for the the Sabas, the, the senior citizens used to go ahead and lay a little box, you know, to keep uh, you know their their trinkets and whatnots in there, so they wouldn't get lost. Right? There are three that are folded you know, with one another. So, Kami Aguda, what is the the pile of shell stories? Shleisha Kshrin Zebaza is three tied to one another. So, Shmami no Kesher Simon. Are we going to learn from here that the type of knot is a simon? If something is tied together and you can identify the knot, therefore that can be returned based upon the identification of the knot. So, no, no, Shleisha Kshrin Zebaza. It means there are you know, three that are uh, basically they're, they're folded with one another. 
So the words, they're, they're rolled together. So Yehachi, hai no tachri, that's the bundle. So tachri, kol chad v'chad, the reish the chavri, right? So tachri uh, means that each one is rolled. So in other words, one is rolled, and the next one is rolled on top of it, and then the third one is rolled on top of it. That's what it means. Guda, and what is the, the, the pile of it? Deromo adadi kruchos, right? In other words, no, when you take them all three stars flat, and then you roll them all together, that's uh, uh, that's that case, you know, like the way I guess they do, like uh, blueprints. Uh, my machris. So what are they? Uh, the, what are they uh, announce out? So they said minion. They say, okay, you announce you found three documents, and then people can identify it. So Gavar says, I my close. If that's the case, why you say three? I feel tired. If it was two, Nami. Ella, the Ravina, Tavai Machris, right? Let's say money. So you, you announce mm-hmm. coins, and the person tells you how many coins. How can I So in this case, it's that you say, Shore, I found documents, and the Machri, and then the person has to go ahead and says, Oh, yes, I lost a bundle of three documents, and therefore that will be a sufficient uh, amount of uh, identification. Right, so if he knows if, if it's the same uh, borrower, so then you return all three documents, you know, from three different lenders to the same borrower. So these is the Malvin, you know, if you uh, if you would think that they belong to the different creditors. So my buddy Gabi Adadi, why are they all together? So Lawrence says, I do look you may Osley. Maybe they went to go ahead and have them uh, certified, right? They went and had them certified, and therefore uh that's why they're all together, right? Oh, they're buying so the Gomorrah says no. Don't read. Right, and they were already certified. And I was certified that the actual loan took place and the signatures were good. So there's like a head pick on it to prove it. So maybe the, the, it was lost when they were having it certified. They're all having to be by the, you know, by the the the, 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 the right by the notary. Right, by the notary, the certificationist, whatever they right. So the Gomorrah says, no, Dilma uh you have any suffer enough. So maybe it fell from the hand of the cipher. So this is no me be other the suffer. No, people don't go ahead and leave a certified document in the hands of the suffer. It's too valuable, right? It has all the power. So therefore it wouldn't just be lying around. And three of them definitely would not be lying around. So therefore, it must not have been with the creditors. It must have been already paid up and therefore given back to the bower. And uh the mouth of however, it was the same lender with three different bowers, then he returned to the lenders. D talk about the uh and you know if they they already paid and returned to the Leibin, my Gabi Hadadi. Why are they all together? So the one says, I Dimal Mikhtavi uh the Savino Asli. Maybe they went to go ahead and get rid of right? So but by the stuff, and the first was lost then. Gwar says no the CV because uh yeah, so so Gwar says. Uh, so the Dixivas betalas yadi sifri, right? It was three different handwritings, right? Three different handwritings. So therefore, obviously, it wasn't lost by the suffer. I have a dumla kumiyazi. Perhaps maybe they're going to get have it certified all three of the uh, bowers. So the Gwarian says no. Malva mikayim shari loyve lo mikayim shari. No, no, only the Malva hasn't certified, not the loyve. So therefore, it's not something that the loyve would have certified. Rather, it must be the Malva, and therefore return all the documents to the Malva. And then we said in yesh. You found the loan document, and then I found the receipt. So I found a loan document that said that I borrowed, uh, uh, or, or Eddie found one that you know he lent money to me to Yoel. Mm-hmm. But he also found in his documents that Yoel paid me hundred the hundred dollars, you know, back. Mm-hmm. So you follow the receipt, mm-hmm. and therefore you assume it was paid. And I'm Rav, you remember Rav, I'm Rav, Simpon, so now this is a different halakha. Simpon, ayayetzi mitaka zidei malve. If the malve finds a receipt, like in the case of Eddie, he had a low diamond that says he let yo a hundred dollars. We also found the receipt that said I paid him back hundred dollars. Alpi shikaz of the Saviado, even though it's written in Eddie's handwriting, yo will pay me a hundred dollars, ain't no ella kemasacha yu puzzle, right? It was only like uh, 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 playing around, and therefore it's puzzle. Now it's not valid that I paid him back. Why? So loving boys, so because of the Saviad cipher, it's not only the let's say it was a professionally written by a cipher. The Eglame had the Safed you saw me leave of the costume because perhaps you could have found a cipher. Says, hey, do me a favor. I don't know how to write. Write up a receipt for me. So when Yoel comes to pay me back, I have the receipt ready to go, and therefore it makes sense that you're holding the receipt, right? Ella Filuk Savik Savi other even if it's in Eddie's own handwriting puzzle. So why'd you pre-write it? So Savar, Dimas Rami Vyasi Bain Shmash says, perhaps I'm gonna bump into Yoel Ben Shmash River Shabbat and call Parley. He says, Hey, I got the money, you have a receipt. And you're gonna say, Oh, I gotta go get my ink, I gotta go get my my uh, my papyrus or whatever it is, or whatever the paper they use then, my paper. Dilo Yavinale, Lo Yavile Zuze. 
Because if you don't have the, I have the receipt, I'm, he's not, not going to pay me. So they're probably going to go ahead and pre-write it, and therefore I'll have it ready to go. So therefore, it's a reason why. So therefore, going to Rav. So therefore, if, if if the lender finds a receipt amongst his documents, he can ignore the receipt, right? Different than our Mishnah. So now let's see. So I, it's not our Mishnah says you follow the receipt. So we're going to ask a, a bunch of kashas on this Rabbi Yirmi Amar Rav. I this thought to, it only said that we follow the receipt. Right. We find the loan document together with No, you find them both, right? So it says you find the loan. You also find the receipt, right? Oh, so. Yeah. So, so was it paid or not? So our mission says you follow the receipt. Rabbi Yirmi says you follow the loan document. You ignore the receipt. So why is it different? So I, Tanan, our mission says, you do follow the receipt it was paid. So we're answering, when you find it amongst your discarded documents, you're torn up your discarded documents. In other words, those, that was the pile that was already done. It was already filed away in the done pile, right? So you find it there. And that's the reason why... The Mishnah says, right, that uh, you follow the, uh, the the receipt because it was, uh, you know, amongst that, it was old, bu- old, old, old business, it was already done. And Hafi, I mean, uh, so to, in this case, you know, so to, in our case, well, let's say it was, it was, it was uh, found amongst the discarded uh, uh, shtaras. And where do we see that case of uh, the distinction of discarded uh, shtaras? It says, Tashma, come, uh, come and listen. So let's say he found some of the shtaras, he says, a shtara. He lent out money to two Yosef ben Shimon. That was Parua, right? Shtaras Shnei and Paruim. So both and neither one of two Yosef ben Shimon's I lent out, and I have a, a document that says I um, I uh, I was paid back by Yosef ben Shimon. So each Yosef ben Shimon says I was the Yosef ben Shimon who paid you back, and therefore you cannot go ahead and infu- and, and, and go ahead and collect from any one of them. So I over there, why you found that case? So they go, this is not because the Rav needs to be The reason I found that is because it was amongst the discarded uh, uh meaning it was old business that was already paid. So therefore, that's the reason why we believe it was already paid. So Korean, so Achanami, so our case very much needs to be the Korean. So in our case very much, it was found amongst the torn uh, documents. So Toshma, come listen. So the children after the father passed away, is that Shabbat He didn't tell us uh, any information. Shabbat Abba. We didn't tell that he that he was paid back. We didn't find it amongst his documents. So Abba, that this loan was paid. So I, ah, you see that they they report that it wasn't found. Mashna, if it was found, then it is considered paid. I, I thought you would ignore it. So Rav Safta, once again, Rav Safta says Ben It's found amongst the discarded documents. So touch my bottom line. So if the receipt was uh, was, was found. Then you go ahead and it's kind of it's fulfilled with this with the signatures. The signatures on it, you follow it. I I thought you said you don't follow it. So my answer is no, Ama Yiskay Mechaismov. Go ahead and be Mikai the signatures, make sure the signatures you find the signatures, and they'll say yes, it was indeed was a paid. And therefore, that's when you follow uh, over there. That's that's how you'll follow. But until you go ahead and miskai the, the signatures, you do not follow the receipt. Turn the page. The shell in the Sudan, he put away Lopar, because then we go ahead and ask the witnesses whether it was paid or not paid. So, Toshma, come and listen, second line on top of Kofal of Analf. Simpon, she is love Adem. So, a receipt that has on a witness says kosher. It is kosher. So, ah, you see it's kosher, meaning it was a paid receipt, and therefore it's good. So, my, so what does it mean, my Adem? Adem Kuyim. It means when the witnesses doesn't mean witnesses, it means when you go ahead and you certify the uh, 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 the documents. So, the says, how can I stop it? When there's also logical statement, you've done the same. You said, Vish Adem of Adem, possible. If there's no witnesses, then it's possible. What does it mean, my ain't a love What does no witnesses? E lame and like a Luya Aiden Klaal. If there's no witnesses at all, so you have to say it's possible. There's no witnesses. Ella love a It means rather there's witnesses, but only when it becomes certified, then we ask them, yes, they indeed, this is our signature, and indeed we did witness the loan being paid back, and therefore only then do uh is the star Mikuya. And Gufa, Simon Chesh Love Aidim, uh is kind of a chaismav, a receipt that has witnesses on it, and you certainly Certify the signatures. Ain't of Adam, but how is those signatures? Be eight simitachas yedei shlish. Oh, there's no witnesses, but it's in the hand of a thirty. Oh, she eats the achikitim shtaros. Or there is a receipt. There's a loan document. The loan document says you all paid it back. 
sure. We believe that you all paid it back on there, or if the third party is holding the receipt that said you all paid back. Why? Why is it in the hands of a third party? Because the third party, since they were believed to have the loan, right here, um, he owes me money, but I don't trust his uncle's document. You hold on to it. So, too, he, the, he would be trusted by the creditor to hold on to the receipt, and therefore we follow the receipt. And also, if there was a signature after the loan document, why? The Mifra, who was not paid back, he wouldn't go ahead and write on the bottom of the loan that says, I lent Yoel $100, that Yoel paid me back $100 if it wasn't true. So therefore, it's not mm-hmm. true if he wrote the, underneath on the star, and therefore, we follow that, and therefore, the loan is believed to be paid back. And Hajj Allah, Don't they sign on the bottom? Don't they sign on the bottom? They sign, but it was...